Hello and Namaste. Uh, in continuation with the complex integration, we are starting with the Taylor's and Lorentz series expansion. Actually, it's a part of the power series. And out, uh, under that, we are just going ahead and learning for the Taylor's and Lorentz series expansion. So, this today's session, we are dedicating for this introduction of this particular two series in detail. What do you mean by power series? A series of the form, summation of c n z minus a to the power n n is moving from 0 to infinity is equals to c 0 plus c 1 z minus a plus c 2 z minus a the whole square is called power series in the powers of z minus a where z is a complex variable and the constant c 0 c 1 c 2 are called the coefficients and the constant cap small a is called center of the series so center of this particular series is known as this small a and if you will observe here, there exists a positive number capital R such that the power series given above converges for mod of Z minus A is less than R and diverges for mod of Z minus A is greater than R. While it may or may not converge for mod of Z minus A is equals to R. And this power, this power series converges at all points inside the circle or inside this mod of z minus a is equals to capital R diverges at all the points outside the circle and may or may not converge on the circle. Now this capital R is called the radius of convergence of the above series and the circle mod of z minus a is equals to R is called the circle of convergence. The circle of convergence wherein all the points are, get, uh, are, are uh, analytic or you can say the uh, convergent they are, that is known as the circle of convergence and radius of it is known as radius of convergence. Now what do you mean by Taylor's series? So Taylor's series or Taylor's theorem says that if f of z is analytic inside a circle C0 with the center at small a. So this is the circle C0 center is at small a and the radius is R0. So this R0 is the radius then at each point z inside c0 we have got this type of series which is known as f of z is equal to f of a plus f dash of a upon 1 factorial z minus a plus f double dash of a upon 2 factorial z minus a the whole square and so on this in this series will go till infinity this type of setting is known as Taylor series and Taylor's theorem so uh, in this particular uh, uh, session we are targeting on the different number of questions or different type of questions so we are not going into detail in the, the theorem of this Taylor's theorem. So we are just accepting the statement of this theorem based for the help of the different examples. Now important notes related to the theorem is the largest circle with center at small a such that f of z is analytic at every point inside it is known as the center of circle of convergence of the Taylor series and its radius is known as radius of convergence of the series. The radius of convergence is the distance between small a which is the center of the circle and the nearest singularity of f of z. Putting a equals to 0 in the Taylor series we will get f of z is f of 0 plus f dash of 0 upon 1 factorial to z plus f double dash of 0 upon 2 factorial z square and so on till infinity. This series is known as Maclaurin series of f of z. The Maclaurin series of some elementary functions which we require to use during the expansions of Taylor's and Lorentz expansions they are first 1 plus z to the power minus 1 is 1 minus z plus z square minus z cube plus so on till infinity. So if you will observe here if we have got a minus here we have plus minus plus minus alternate sign with the powers of z. Important condition is to note that that we have to have this mod of z less than 1 then only this type of series for the z we can apply and we can have this type of expansion. Similarly 1 minus z to the power minus 1 is all the terms are positive with the same series as that of the previous. So all the terms are positive in this series same condition is applied that is mod of z is less than 1. Third is 1 minus z to the power minus 2 is 1 minus 2z plus 3z square plus 4z cube plus 5z to the power 4. Again is the same if it is a plus alternate plus minus sign would exist here. Same condition of mod of z should be less than equals less than 1 and fourth one is with the minus sign that is all of them all the terms would be plus with the same as that of the third one 
and the condition remains the same that is mod of z is less than 1 i have purposely uh, highlighted this mod of z is less than 1 because whenever we have to apply this type of series in the set of or uh, in the setup of complex variables or complex numbers we have to have the mod of this z should be less than 1 so we should have this this whatever the quantity or whatever the function we wanted to expand it this this particular z or this particular function has to be have, have to be have that mod of z is less than 1 then lorentz series or lorentz theorem goes as if c1 and c2 are two concentric circles with center at a so these are the two concentric concentric circles c1 and c2 red i r1 and r2 c1 having the bigger uh, radius with r1 and c2 is the smaller than r1 which is r2 if f of z is analytic on c1 and c2 and throughout the annular region capital r so this is what is the region which is shaded in a blue color is known as capital r between them at each point z in r so f of z is summation of a n z minus a to the power n n is moving from 0 to infinity plus summation of b n z minus a to the power minus n n is moving from 1 to infinity and where this a n is nothing but this part which is 1 upon 2 pi i uh, integration over the closed curve c1 f of w upon w minus a to the power n minus n plus 1 dw so sometimes it is w or sometimes it is given to you as omega as well it's just a notation or a label you can say b n is 1 upon 2 pi i so this is what is known as this part b n and a n so these are the parts so we are not um, uh, so keen about understanding the uh, lorentz expansion but yes one thing we have to note it down in the lorentz expansion we do have the hole inside this particular region wherein the taylor series is defined on the each and every point of this so in short in the last session what we have understood that the multiply connected simply connected region it, this is the this is what we have to understand here now important notes again if f of z is analytic inside c c2 then the lorentz lorentz series reduces to the taylor series of the f of z with the center at small a center at small a since in this case all the coefficients of negative powers in lorentz series are zero the part summation of a and z minus z0 to the power n n is moving from 0 to infinity consisting of positive integral powers of z minus a is called analytic part of lorentz series and the part summation of b n z minus z0 to the power minus n consisting of negative integral powers of z minus a is called principal part of the lorentz series as the taylor's and lorentz expansion in the given region are unique they are not usually found by the theorems given above but by other simpler methods such as to use a binomial series and this is what we are going to go ahead which we have seen it that 1 2 3 4 maclaurin series so we are going to go ahead with the with the help of those type of uh, series and we will be defining or will be expanding the taylor's and lorentz expansions in this uh, upcoming sessions then consider two concentric circles with the center at a c1 and c2 with the red i as r1 and r2 where r1 is less than r2 in that case if you observe here the circle the circle is given the first first case in the first case if you observe here mod of z minus a is less than r1 suppose we have got this circle with center at a and radius as r1 then these are the points which is which is denoted as this particular way that is mod of z minus a is less than r1 if so nearest singularity is this r1 because r1 is less than r2 so this is what is one way to express this type of expression and this type of figure you will exist second thing is the annular region between these two circles that is uh, this circle c1 and c2 r1 is the smaller radius r2 is the bigger one and if you will observe here this this is the region which is bounded by these two particular circles and this is denoted as mathematically r1 is less than mod of z minus a is less than r2 where this a is the center of the circle a is the center of the circle similarly the other part or the third part is mod of z minus a is greater than r2 which is nothing but the circle with center at a radius is r2 and we have got all the points outside this particular circle outside the particular circle so it's a greater than r2 so this is what 1 2 3 type of figure and we'll be uh, i'll be uh, i have given you this different uh, set or you can say different uh, regions in front of your eyes in one slide just to understand the question based on this particular taylor's and lorentz's expansion in the upcoming sessions 
Okay, I think we have uh, uh, got enough introduction with the Taylor's and Lawrence series expansion. So, we'll, uh, from the upcoming sessions, we'll be going ahead with the different kind of examples. I hope you have understood everything. Thank you. Happy learning.